Hey you guys, new day, new video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a small synthesizer from Modo, the Sculpt Synth SE. The Modo Sculpt SE is a small uh, digital virtual analog synthesizer. It has four voice polyphonic and 32 oscillators. And in this video, I'm going to show you some function and I will let you hear how it sounds. But before we're going to do that, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click subscribe, click the bell and get notified when we upload a new video every Wednesday. So, enough talking. Let's sculpt. Okay, let's take a closer look at this synthesizer. So this is the Sculpt Synth SE. The Sculpt Synth SE comes with a USB cable for power and MIDI and a hard plastic lid. The lid has a protective function, uh, but you can also attach it on the bottom, then the synth uh, will be straight. And uh, if not, uh, like in this case, um, you have a nice angle, uh, so you, you, you on the desk, uh, you can see perfectly what you are doing. Despite being a compact synthesizer, uh, the Sculpt Synth SE has many functions which can be directly controlled uh, by Rotary uh, and the push buttons. And as you can see, it, it has a lot and all the uh, important knobs are on the unit itself. Uh, all the buttons have a double function uh, and with shift uh, you can uh, shift this orange so you can uh, get the, the second function. Model has thought about uh, which functions are most important and which you want to control directly. So that's only the controls you see here. And all the other controllers, if you want to dive deeper into it, for example, modulation functions, there is a free editor app for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android and it's a VST or audio unit. Let's talk about waveforms. Each waveform consists of several oscillators. In the monophonic mode, which is in now, uh, you have access to 32 oscillators linked to one note. So if I press one note, you hear all the 32. In duo mode, you have 16. And in polyphonic mode, because it's a four voice polyphonic synthesizer, you have eight. There is also spread control, so uh, you can spread all the oscillators and, and make it uh, a bigger and larger sound. And that sounds really nice. The largest knob on the scalp is for controlling the filter cutoff. Uh, the Sculpt Synth SE has a two-pole filter. Uh, uh, what is different uh, is that it has no low or high pass, but it's uh, variable by the morph function. So, if you press a note, you've cut off. You have resonance. And then there's a morph function, so you put shift and then you can morph between your cutoff. It's not a spectacular sounded filter, but it's nice and it's, it, it's, it's exactly what you expect from this uh, digital synthesizer. Uh, it has no effect on the sound itself because that's just the sound of the scalp. Uh, the resonant filter peaks nicely and is balanced well uh, with, the, with the cutoff filter. The Sculpt SE has three envelope generators and they can be selected with the small button over here. So one, two, three. And then you have the attack, decay, sustain and release. So one is of course for uh, the filter, uh, one is of course for the amplifier and the third one is for modulation. So F, A, M. Let's talk about modulation. The Sculpt SE has two LFOs. Uh, you can assign them to almost any function. Assigning can be done on the synth themselves. I 
personally think that's a little bit complicated, but um, you can use the, the free editor for that. And I admit I used the editor for program this synth as well. So the Sculpt Synth SE has an arpeggio and uh, a sequencer, uh, so without. Is this? Arp you here already. And then the sequencer. The Sculpt uh, SE um, sequencer has 42 steps and you can program them by yourself and you can save them, uh, you can save your own creations uh, uh, with the software editor. Uh, the sequencer can not only be used for programming notes, but you can also um, uh, animate um, yeah, three uh, different uh, functions, so filter or LFO or whatever. And all that you do in the software. The Sculpt SE has two built-in effects, delay and distortion. Um, they sound great, they sound okay, uh, but personally I'm never a fan of built-in effect in synthesizers in the studio. I use software for this, but live of course uh, it can be very handy uh, that the synth has a delay or a distortion. I have already mentioned the app a number of times. Uh, this standalone software is plug and play. Um, there is also a VST uh, audio unit version for Mac and Windows and Model has thought about it very well. Uh, for each synthesizer you only need to install one app. Uh, the software recognizes your software immediately and if you use it as a plugin, uh, just select your MIDI synth and that's it. For programming I find the editor very very handy. Uh, when programming everything is in real time so when I dial any of the knobs it responds immediately and you, yeah, you immediately see what you're doing and uh, that's very cool. You also uh, have a controller function, um, sequencer function and here you can choose the, the, the animation. Uh, let me something in. Don't know how this sounds, but if you now press record, you can. And it just follows what you are doing. And that's, and that's very nice. There are four animation slots uh, to record. There's also settings and in this you can um, usually MIDI function and on page two you can also update the Sculpt Synth SE by the latest firmware um, just using the software. Besides the standard MIDI function Sculpt Synth SE responds to MPE and MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. So you control it with an external controller and in my case the Senzel Morph with the Buchla Thunder pad. So let me run a sequence and show you what it can do. So what do I think uh, from the Sculpt Synth SE? Well, I think it's great for such a small and reasonably priced synthesizer. Uh, yes, it's digital. Yes, maybe some people think the filter is weak, but that's not what disappoints me. Because the, it's good, it sounds, it has a free editor, and that's always plus one for me. Um, and the sound is okay. I will make a sound video uh, later, and I upload that later so you can hear what it uh, sounds. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.